everyone, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you've found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, I love luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if there are things that appeal to you, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and join me here. Today I have a rather large luxury haul. So I have been buying things from um, different brands and it's just been one here and one here and one here. So I thought I'd just put it all together and unbox it for you all at the same time. So I've got stuff from Valentino, I've got stuff from Gucci, Dior, Dolce & Gabbana, um, Longchamp, Loewe, Bottega, it's, it's a big day. <laughs> So we're just going to unbox it all in one video um, so then I can start to use it um, and yeah, let's get into it. So I'll start with some of the um, loose pieces that I've got that aren't in shopping bags. So I completely blame Nick Snell. Nick J Snell, whose channel I will link down below, has an obsession with Longchamp and I've been watching his videos and now, oh my God, I've been influenced. <laughs> I was influenced. So I have three pieces from Longchamp that I've bought. So the first one is this one. Look at it. It's the Longchamp coin purse and it is the cutest thing I have ever seen. It's got the little tab on top there and it is adorable. So take stuffing out. And it's got the um, Longchamp little booklet there. And it's just a black interior, big open space, nothing much in happening in there. But look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> um, so I see myself probably putting lipsticks in this and just throwing it in my handbag. Um, but it was just adorable. So <laughs> I picked it up um, when I bought the other pieces that I got. So it's not the only thing I bought. Um, in true me style, there are other pieces from the brand as well because that's what I do. So oh, let's just leave that out there. All right, so I also got this. Um, and if we open it up, it's like a document wallet. And I just, I love the color. And this will actually be really handy for me for work. And it's water resistant, which I think is great. So it's just, let's get you all in. So it's about... I would, it's like bigger than A4, but it's definitely not A3 size. And it's just got the pink leather on it. And you see there it says Longchamp on the back. Uh, and you just open it up. It's got silver hardware. It's white on the inside. And then it's got a pocket at the back. But I see this for work. I'm going to carry documents in it um, if I've got to go off site. And it will be really handy for that because uh, I'm not really a briefcase person. I don't really see myself doing that. Um, I've never really been someone who's liked to carry a briefcase. But I'll totally um, show up to a meeting with my bright pink Lomchamp document holder. So, uh, yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. And I do like the fact that it is this kind of material. I'm not going to be precious with it. It's a little bit waterproof if it starts to rain. I've got to walk from the car to the meeting that I'm having. So, yeah, I thought that was a great buy. And the final piece I got from Longchamp is pink also. Um, so this is... Le Pil Pillage. I'm going to pronounce this really wrong and you can all correct me, but I actually, this is not actually my first one. I will um, admit that I have a few of these in like blues and blacks, and these are my equivalent of a throw around bag. So if I've got to go somewhere and take something, but I don't necessarily want to be um, touting a grocery bag with me, I'll use these because they're handy for that. And I saw this one come up and I went, oh, pink. So, of course, I bought it. And these hold a lot, I've got to say. I find them really handy. I have a whole set of them. I use them for different things. But they hold, like, because they pop out, they really do hold an awful lot. So, I think 
um, these are fantastic. They're super useful. They're great to have around the house for those times that you probably need to take more than you are anticipated. You still want to take your really beautiful handbag with you, but what are you going to carry this thing in that you've got to take with you? You don't want to take a grocery bag. Um, and this is a great alternative to that. They're also fantastic to take for travel because they pack down into a tiny size. And then if you are bringing back more than you thought you would, you can shove stuff in that as um, a carry-on bag. So yeah, long shot. Thanks, Nick. I'm there. <laughs> um, moving on to the next one. So we have Loewe. So I don't own anything from Loewe. This is my very first purchase. And I bought this in Sydney when Connor from The Closet and Dale from Dale's Addiction were down. Connor had gone into store to buy this exact item. And I was like, oh, what are you buying? Oh, and he's like, oh, this is the perfume Dale's got. And I was like, oh, okay, can I smell it? And now we all have it. So <laughs> yes, I got the uh, perfume, women's perfume in the 001 and this is beautiful it smells like coconut it is summer holiday in a bottle love it um so yes so dale got it first she bought a handbag and the bag that it um in the bag when the bag came sorry it um they had sprayed the tissue paper and she went, oh my goodness, that smells amazing. Asked the person, they told her that they sprayed it with this. She started wearing it. Connor found it, uh, smelt it, thought he, and he thought it was great. He bought it. And now here I am also behind it because it's amazing. So if that's not high praise for a fragrance, I don't know what is. So the bottle just looks like this. And it's got the wooden top that you just pull off. And yeah, it's just... summer holiday <laughs> we're coming into summer here in australia and i'm a little excited for some sunshine if it ever stops raining so yes this is my new loewe fragrance so if you're into coconut and all things that smell like summer in good times go and check out the 001 from loewe okay moving on now the next one is not something I was purchased. It, it was something I was gifted. You guys know that I don't do a lot of um, like collaborations. I don't do partnerships. I don't do any of that. It makes me very uncomfortable. So I did a video on my um, thoughts and opinions on different types of bag um, organizers or inserts. And I in that video, I featured 7RP, I featured um, Zimoni, and I featured Samorga because they're ones that I had. Um, and I talked about what I thought of them and what I would buy going forward. I had um, Jess from Handbag Angels reach out to me um, via Instagram and say, hey, I watched your video. Um, can I talk to you about my inserts? And it was a deep breath moment because I'm like, oh, I really don't do um, collaborations or sponsorship. I don't like it. Talk to me about what you want. And I have so much respect for Jess from Handbag um, Angels because of what she did next. Um, so in business, in my company, most certainly, I am a fierce believer that if I can get my foot in the door with a client, they will keep me. It, it's a given. I know that. I know the product that I produce is amazing. Um, and I know the people I employ are fantastic. And I know that if I can get in the door, then they will absolutely use me. So I am more than happy to make terrible business decisions, um, like in terms of money and say, okay, well, I'll give you this cheaper so I can get my foot in the door. And then suddenly you're using all my services or let me do this for you. And then I'm sure you're going to use me for that. Um, and Jess from handbag angels came to me and said, I don't need anything from you. I just am going to send you some um, bag organizers to try with your bags. You tell me honestly what you think. If you like them, talk about them. If you don't, don't. And I was like, I have so much respect for you because you back your product. And if you're going to back your product, then I will absolutely give it a go. So she was so kind and I asked for two inserts. I asked for a Neverfull MM and I asked her if she could make one for my Deville, my Chanel Deville which is over here. Um, and she sent me four. She was so kind because, and 
it, no strings attached. She just said, I'm just going to send them to you. I'm like, cool, no worries. Well, I'm more than happy to try them. And if I like them, I'll talk about them. So here I am talking about them because I like them. So they come packaged like this. These ones I haven't got out yet. I have one in this Neverfull, which I have used and I'm super impressed by them. And I can honestly say that I will only use Jess's inserts going forward high praise i have a lot of respect for anyone in business who go who backs their products to a point where they go i'm not i don't need anything from you but i'm going to send you something if you like it will you talk about it because that to me says that you back your product all day and night and i've had other companies that have approached me that i actually own things from and i've said sure i'll, I'll talk about you because i own things from your company um, here's the kind of video I want to do and they've gone no if you're not doing a haul or if you're not um, doing a collection video we don't want that if you're going to feature our products and we're giving give you free things we want them to be in a massive haul video and I gave it to them and said absolutely not I'm like if you have to ride the coattails of designer brands because you don't believe in your own product enough then I'm not going to back you in so that's where I sit with sponsorship. Um, so I've got the beautiful pink one for my Deville. And then she has also sent me two more Neverfull for my MM Neverfulls because she knows that I have many Neverfulls that need to um, have uh, inserts in them. They are handmade. She's in the UK, but she ships uh, Australia-wide and they are so soft. And they've got just enough structure to them without having too much structure to them. So Handbag Angels, I will link down below. I do not have a discount code. I do not have an affiliate code. This is not sponsored. These were gifted. But this is my honest opinion on these, okay? I would never come on here and talk to you about anything just because it was gifted to me. I can buy them if I want. Um, so I don't have that thing where I need to take this. I have taken them in good faith and I am talking about them in good faith. She has done an, ex an exceptional job and I'm super impressed with them and I will honestly say I will buy her um, inserts going forward. I will not ask her to give me more. I will pay for them with my own money because I think they are worth it. So that's Handbag Angels if you're interested. She also sent me a little um, bag uh, charm so I can hang my bags. It's like the one that Dale gave me from her event. So that's pretty cool. So yes, I strongly um, endorse Handbag Angels and if you want to check them out, I will link her website down below. Moving on. Let's move on to Gucci. I will be honest, this is beauty. So I was at, uh, I was in David Jones. So David Jones here in Australia is a very big department store. Um, and I had Connor and Taylor with me. Um, poor people had to follow me around. Um, but I wanted some makeup products. So the woman was kind enough to give me some samples, which was nice. And I got, I got several things. Didn't realize I bought so many. Okay, right. Uh, and another sample. Oh, very kind. They gave me lots of samples. So I got... Like, where do we start? Alright, so the Lash by Lash Buildable Volume. Actually, I think this is a sample too. I don't remember buying a mascara. Oh, it's a sample. Cool. Love a sample. Love an advent calendar. Love a sample. Alright, let's set this up. Alright, so this one I did buy. <laughs> It's a long-lasting coal liner, and this is in uh, Amethyst. And I loved the purple. I just thought it was beautiful. So I am a major fan of Victoria Beckham's eyeliners. I wear them all the time. She has a fig color, which is not quite as purple as this. But I saw this purple, and I was like, yeah, I want that, because I love a purple liner. And it's so pretty. Sorry. You see my terrible hands. Let's get that to focus. There we go. See? It's just a beautiful, beautiful purple. So I got that one. And then I got lip colours. Oh, pretty. And it's just a long-lasting lip colour. Is that focusing? Probably not. And I'll show you in the bottle. It'll be easier. 
so that's the long lasting lip color and then I've also got another one these are transfer proof and I'm a fan of anything that is transfer proof so this is a slightly deeper pink so I'll give these a go and let you know if they really are transfer proof because yeah sometimes they say that and they're not and the last one I got was the palette that they've got which I think is beautiful oh, so that comes in a box beautiful dust bag and then look at this beautiful palette how pretty is it and then open it up this is all gonna fall out oh no that's on pretty good there we go I don't want to blind you so these are the colors and I just thought it was so pretty coming into summer that all these colors um, and I really like a blue so I'll be rocking the blue this summer so yes this is my new uh, Gucci palette and all my other purchases that I got from Gucci so while I was in David Jones buying Gucci <laughs> I also stopped past and got some Dior because <laughs> that's how we roll um, I had said to Dale, um, what's the lip thing that you keep using that I think is great? And she's like, that's lip glow. And at the moment you can get it in a set. And I was like, all right, cool. Let's go do that. So we did. Because um, Dale and I share a lot of the same makeup. Uh, so this is one of their Christmas editions, I'm pretty sure. So it comes in a beautiful velvet um, toiletry case, which is really lovely. I've got to say, like, I love velvet. And in it we have, and yes, you could use it as a clutch if you wanted to, because it is very pretty. Uh, I have, so I got a baby Miss Dior in there. I got the um, Capture Chatel Anti-Age Global something or other, skin, Dream Skin. I can use all the anti-aging I can get. And then we got the Hydrolonic, Hydroclonic, Hydrolon, Hy, Hy, Hydrolonic Lip Plump. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, sorry. <laughs> In that. And then this was the one that I wanted, which is the Lip Glow, which is what Dale uses all the time. And it's just like, it's like a little reviver for the lipstick that you're currently wearing. So I thought that was really good. Um, if you love makeup, like I do, um, this is a great time of the year to be buying stuff because so many brands have advent calendars or they have Christmas editions. And, you know, for the price of this lipstick, I really got everything else that was in here. So it can be super worth it. So check out um, what brands are doing um, Christmas editions that you love um, and then go jump on board with that. It's always a great um, idea. The next one that we are doing is Bottega. It's a Bottega. It's green. Uh, so let's pull this out. Ooh. Oh, there we go. So my sales associate in Sydney, who's awesome, um, I had talked to him about my um, Lizard Louis Vuitton Capucines. Hang on, I'm going to grab it. So my Lizard Louis Vuitton Capucines in the oil slick. So this is my newest one. I'll link the unboxing down below. Lots of links today. Um, and I had talked to him at length about this and I said, oh, I'm getting this. I'm really excited. This is what it looks like, blah, blah, blah. He's like, cool. So I left the store and then he texts me. He said, I have the perfect shoes for your bag. And I was like, hmm, really, do you? So I went into store and I saw them. And let's unbox them. So these, look at them. They're metallic. So these are my new Bottega shoes. These are my very first Bottega shoes because I don't own a lot from the brand. And if I do this, they will certainly go together. 
They might not be the exact same shade, but they give off that metallic quality and I can definitely do them together. And they're so puffy and they're just divine. I love them. They're definitely party shoes. They are high. They are a nine centimeter heel, so I will not be walking far in them. Car to the bar, as we say, car to the bar. And that is it. But love them. So happy that my sales associate is on it. And he goes, hmm, we have shoes for that. So yes, they're my new Bottega shoes. Oh, I'm getting a, a pile happening. And the next one <laughs> is Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, and it comes in this very big box. I saw these online. I wanted them. I didn't care that they weren't practical. I thought they were stunning. Can I walk in them? No, not really. <laughs> Do I care? No. <laughs> so let's have a look. And I got these through 24S. So, oh, are you ready? Oh, I love this. <gasps> Look at them. They have the highest heel I have ever seen. This one has, oh, the pocket on it. They're all denim. Look at that heel detail. <gasps> they are Stunning! They've got the button on the top. Oh, they are beautiful. I have tried them on. I cannot walk in them. I will literally be wearing them very short distances, but I love them. They took my breath away when I saw them online and I was like, yes, I need to own them. I mean, look, the pockets actually work as pockets. How cool are these? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much in love with these shoes and for no reason, no good reason because they're gonna be completely impractical, but they're just stunning. So yes, that's my Dolce & Gabbana unboxing. One more to go, guys. Hang in there. Oh. We have a very bright bag from Valentino. I don't own anything from Valentino. Nothing. Not a thing. This is my very first Valentino purchase. And when they released this pink um, collection that they've got, I almost died. Like, I was like, oh goodness I want to own it all and honestly I probably would if if I um if I could but I went into store and Dale from Dale's Diction came with me it was while we were in Sydney um and we looked at lots of the pieces and some of the bags have these beautiful like metallic hardware that is almost bordering on purple rather than pink but it was all chipped and I figure if it chips like that, just being in store on mannequins with people picking up and trying it on, it's probably going to chip as you start to use it. So that concerned me. They have some beautiful, beautiful ready to wear. They had the most amazing cashmere long coat. And oh my goodness, if I lived in a colder climate, I would own it in a heartbeat. But I know the voice of reason in my head that sometimes comes to the surface said, when are you wearing that? It is never going to be cold enough in Australia for you to wear it. And you don't do long overseas cold trips anymore. So really, but it was just stunning. But I did pick up a piece because I couldn't not. So it comes in this box, which is not a pink box, which surprises me. And dust bag from Valentino. Let me open it up. And I got a little nano bag in the color because I had to own something from this collection. I just had to. So this is a little nano bag. Um, it has gold hardware. So I chose one with the gold hardware because I had seen the hardware on the other ones start to chip and I was not overly impressed 
it comes with a D-ring attachment as well, and that just sits inside, but it also comes with the chain, so the full gold chain, which is a beautiful gold, like it's a really yellow gold. And it is long enough to go cross body, absolutely. Almost matches my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> pretty close um, so super um, long and can absolutely go cross body it does not detach the chain does not come off it's permanently attached it's got one credit card slot at the back and then just a um, big empty space with your D ring in case you want to attach it to something there are stickers on it I will take them off very soon and then it just says Valentino there and you've got uh, it's like it's kind of like an age gold hardware, I'm going to say. But yes, I really wanted a piece from this collection and this one's perfect for me. So yes, I'm happy to have something from the collection. Could I have bought more? Yes, yes, I could. I could have bought so many pieces in this pink, but yeah, some of, the, some of them did make me a little bit concerned, the bags, because they just were not holding up well. Uh, um, from being picked up and used and if you actually want to use it then I don't know how it will hold up over time but super happy to have at least one piece from the Valentino collection so that's my haul for today guys um, I hope you've stuck with me this long um, if you've liked today's video please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below I would love to have you here I would also love to have you over on Instagram I will put my handle up for you so you can come follow me over there I put up lots in real time over there outfits of the day um, if sales associates are sending me through interesting things that are about to drop or have dropped I'll throw them up for you um, so come follow me over on Instagram I hope wherever you are in the world today. You are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.